morning everybody danny b here with oh my gosh another video this one is by special request for carolyn hi carolyn and the request was can i show how i use the five ring binders now i use them for a variety of things in a variety of ways but for the month of may and probably it'll go into june i'm using it this one for my creative daily journal i wanted to do something different and each month i pretty much go through a mood to where um i want to do something a little bit different than what i did last month so i don't get well i never get bored but just so i can stretch my um creative muse a little bit so here we go i don't want to take too long so this is actually number two in the series of how I use or flip throughs of my current journals. And the thing about this, I'm not great at process videos. They're not my thing. Um, however, I will give it a try. Uh, Grandma's a dog. <laughs> so her, Inst Carolyn's Instagram name. And I'm assuming, and I probably shouldn't assume, but that's a Georgia Bulldog. But, um, I'm sure I'll find out. So anyway, here we go. So what I like to do is I, I do collect these when I find them and I actually found another fabulous one that I had never seen. I think it's from North Country Creations and I'll leave the link below, but I have to show this, hold on. Okay, so here's This is totally gorgeous and it arrived after I had already started my creative daily journal so this will have to be another project for another time but isn't it beautiful but anyway at any rate so this doesn't get to be too long this is the one I'm using and I'm not going to change the cover I'm not going to decorate it I will put probably this dragonfly charm on it but I'll either glue it on or I will dangle it on because I think it's so beautiful for um, the spring and then into summer. Because I'm, I'm pretty sure, well, I'm not pretty sure, but this may just be May with everything I put in it. So let's, let's start. What I do, and I've already started on this one. Let me check and make sure the whole thing is in. This is the difficult part for me. Because I want to get close enough so you can see the details. I covered the inside covers. Now, the thing I, I wanna start so I don't forget, because what do you do with the insides? Now, for the insides of this one, I save all of it and it goes over into my bin of papers. But for this particular one, I saved the pages, the, what do you call them, the pictures of the ones that I really liked. And you'll see that as, as we go through. And I, I'm not gonna flip through the whole thing, but let's get started. So this one I had decorated probably a year ago, the inside covers, just this part right here, because I was gonna use it for, I think a garden journal, but then we I changed my mind. So I this time I added a pocket and some trim and I will put my I have those little prompt things that I'll go ahead and put in here so I can do added things to my journal like draw rotary phone type deal <laughs> this is a Courtney Diaz illustration from her patreon this was the front page of this particular book and I cut out the Better Homes and Garden, and I put it on here. So that way I would know, this one was 1968. This right here is, I think it's Kayon. I'll leave it below, but this is a printable from uh, a Patreon that I follow. So I always will have my cover page. Then we flip. And as with the beginning of all my creative daily journals, I add a calendar 
and quotes and just some things I like at the beginning. But um, for Carolyn, I want to let her know that the first thing I did with this after covering the inside cover is I went through all, let me find a blank one here. I went through, I said I saved the picture and what I did is I covered the backs of all of them with old scrap. This one was from a Stampington magazine. So I covered the backs of, that was the first thing I did of all the pictures that I liked and kept, that scrapbook paper. So that's the first thing I did. The second thing I did is I went through, let's go into where I really haven't done anything. Well, I kind of doing it as I go along. Let's put that back in there so I don't forget. All right, so here we are where I haven't done anything. So the first thing I did after covering the inside is, and this is one of my uh, gel prints that I copied. And so I just covered the backs with different things. Then I went in with, went to my stash of book pages and I went in and put these pages in here. And you'll see them sticking out over here. And I wasn't too conscious of what I was doing except for if I found pages that had the graphics on it, I pulled those out and use more of those okay this is one of cat hands creations hi cat on the back of this and see i saved the graphics and i probably will not cover these i will decorate around them a watercolor or paint so that was the next thing i did after that let's see what did i do i started well, that was the those are the foundations. See, I'm not good at this, at letting you know how I did it. <laughs> I just like to show the end result. So after I got this fa these foundation pages, and the best thing about this is these might be too many, but I can always take them out. You know, it's very easy. I can switch around. I can do anything with these, and that's why I like using the ring binders. And uh, one of my great inspirations for decorating and using ring binders is Diane Shaw from My Old Barn Door. I'll try and leave the link below. Uh, she does fabulous work with these binders. Okay, so here we go. So the first thing I do is, remember I had covered the backs of these, so they're already set, and I decorated. I always like to put in, like I said, a quote, something that's fun. What I'm starting to do this particular month is I've switched up one thing, and this is from a scrapbook paper pack, and it is, they come in this size, and I just cut the little tops off to fit. And then I co I'm covering it with vintage lined paper, and I have this book that I got from Barnes & Noble Trip, and it's the 3,000 Questions All About Me. Fabulous book. What I do is I've been, I'll cut, I mean, I'll copy a page and then pick out something that I think I can answer appropriately. And now this one says right now at this moment, do I care what others think of me? So I'll go back in and I'll journal that. This way it adds a little bit more journaling to my books as opposed to just one-liners and photos about my day. This is from an old calendar that, um, uh, I can't think of the name right now. So I just put this in here for notes because I do have my daily planner and I'll do a flip through of that, which is totally different, <clears throat> excuse me, from this. And then as always, uh, thanks to Lisa, I put my currentlies in here for the month. And again, as I mentioned in the last one, I do sprinkle other currentlies throughout. This is a French book that I found and I absolutely loved. And so I tore the insides out because I made, let's see where it is. 
because it's going to be a future happy scrappy. And I love this front cover, so I put it in here. And then this is, I just add things as I go. It, it's a happy scrappy creative daily journal. <laughs> so, all right, so this started May and Again, this is how I use it because I can just add things in. So this right here is a book page. Let me make sure, yeah. It was one of these book pages right here as the foundation. I added, um, I painted it and then added bits and pieces. The number one, this is from a Patreon, I think. I don't know, I'll have to look. And this was a frog that it lives on our patio and I keep um, putting him into the neighbor's yard, but he keeps coming back. <laughs> and so I thought that was a great picture of him and a journaling spot, um, my puppies. And this right here is just actually a piece of uh, jelly print, mixed media. And I just glued another piece onto the back so I just, the way I use these, Carolyn, is I just add everything to them, <clears throat> which is what I like about the five ring binders, is you can add anything that you want. Like, here we go. Again, I, I just, I can't do process videos. I'm sorry. I can just kind of try and tell you what I do. So this is, I did May 1st. May 2nd is right here. And I was going to do that, but I just can't. I just, because it's just such a relaxing process for me that videotaping the process would screw it all up. I don't, I don't know. I'm just being honest. I just can't do that for some reason. But going back to how I do it and what, how I use it, use the five ring, is I will add these much like I did this. But say we went to Chinese food the other day, rather than having to make a pocket in, like I did last month's Creative Daily Journal, I can make this to where I can punch holes in it and use it like this. Also, um, I received a Joggles order the other day. I love Joggles because they send you such cool tissue paper. And I will use this to cover some of the foundation papers, the pages, okay? And again, this is just a little piece of scrapbook paper and I put the inside of an envelope on it. And I'll do a final flip through, you know, when um, this journal is completed. This was one of the pages that I did with um, just painting, it's your, when you're painting and you scrape paint off onto another sheet, this is that. Okay, so now I will add things like that. Let's see what else. This right here is a book by Adam. Mm, you know, I'll leave the link below. I got a lot of links to leave this time. I don't think I left any last time like I should have. But anyway, rather than use the book, I cut it up Shh. And, and I'll show you. See, I cut the book up. And I cut it up with pages I believe I would do. <clears throat> Excuse me, let me get some coffee. And I add things like this to my journals, just to add a little bit of more about me, about our day, about what I'm thinking. This was from Stampington. Again, this is the back. This right here is a piece that I printed a long time ago on a piece of transparency. I'm just using it up and I thought it looked very pretty like this. I may put something on it. I may put a pocket on it. I don't know. That's what I like about these. And it might change to where this doesn't go here and I move it somewhere else. 
And here's what I mean about the graphics. When I get to whatever date this is going to be, I'm gonna keep this graphic. And what I did to remind me of that is I already started decorating the page. This is just washi tape. So this will change you know, but the graphic will stay. So this was one of the foundation pages and it'll be made stronger by whatever I put on the back. And then this is part of one of the collages. And think about that when, if you do a glue book and you do collages, I scan them because this was a collage I did, but look at the great background paper it makes. I think it does, so. <laughs> And then on, again, on one of these foundation pages, what I did is I put a napkin on it. So just kind of prepping my pages, not all of them because they change. And again, this might end up in the front, it might end up in the back, I don't know. But it's there if I wanna use it. This right here, I just folded what was left. Sorry about the dogs. Oh, here comes the other one. Hold on a minute. <laughs> Okay, I'm going to close the door. Okay, sorry, that'll help a little bit. Um, and I'm not an editor, so if that bothers you, then just move forward or sign off. This, I just folded the napkin over, so it left a space right here, and I really wanted to cover it. And if you have an Ollie's where you live, they still have, I bought this a long time ago, but they still have it. And it's nothing but paper. And I love using this and it was $4.99. So there you go, that's what this is, is I just cut, I thought it went well with that, which really doesn't matter because I'm probably gonna change it. So that's one of the things I did. Again, this was, piece of scrapbook paper, covered the back with a, one of my favorite um, envelopes. I'm looking to add probably this doily that I found at a thrift shop. Where are they? So I just got that stuck in there. Let's see if, if I've done anything else back here. No. Let's see. Dr. Seuss books. I put in some pages from Dr. Seuss. <laughs> so Carolyn, you can, you just do anything you want. And the best thing is that you can place them anywhere. You can change your mind and take it out. If you don't like it, you don't have to just redo the page. You just kind of take it out. Um, this actually, there was a Dr. Seuss page. Where is it? This one. This was a Dr. Seuss page. Let me show you which one it was. Just as a, a point. Uh, do I have it? Uh, I don't have it in here. Well, anyway, it was at the beginning of a Dr. Seuss book and it was all the letters of the alphabet. I don't know if I have another one. I know I have one that I saved because I want to use it again, but I screwed it up. I didn't like the way it looked. I painted it on it and it just was a horrible mess. So what I ended up doing is painting on it some more. Then I covered it with tissue paper and then I stamped on it. <laughs> and, and now I've started, um, I say decorating, but it's not, but just adding things about me, my family, our day, our dogs, what whatever um, appeals to me on when I'm playing in this book. It could be anything. It could be stuff that's just hanging around on my desk. But this, these are some of my favorite chocolates. I'm not a big dessert eater, except Mother's Day's coming up and my husband ordered me two cakes. Oh my God. And um, you will definitely see pictures of those on Instagram. But anyway, so I will also, I'm not a big dessert eater except when it comes to those custom cakes. But these are my favorite candies. So I put this in here and I will, sorry for the glare, I need to probably move that. So then uh, I will add little journaling spots. I have a big box of journaling cards. I will do a 
just different things. So again, um, I shouldn't have moved that. Let me keep flipping. See, lost my train of thought. This was just um, brush off paint and a stencil and it's just a mess. Okay, back here, where was I? Oh, I was at the doctor's suit. Doesn't that make a great page? Especially across from this. So <laughs> just, you just put in things you like, you know? And again, I may or may not use these pages. I'm not sure. Um, again, I hung on to the graphics. Oh, another Dr. Seuss. I love these. I love Dr. Seuss pages when they're like that. Okay, so let me go back to this beginning. One thing I saw last night, again, I was going to do a process video, but I just can't. I'm sorry. I just, I just can't because I get in the zone and that's just how it is. But I saw this. I always use bits and pieces of fabric in my in my books, no matter what book it is. And but I never thought of doing a whole page. So let me go back to I won't do it to this particular one, but I will get maybe a piece this size and I'm going to glue this onto it and this will be a page. And then I will decide what I want to put on there. It could be something from my day. It could be from that fabulous uh, stamp I just found at the thrift store. It could be all kinds of junk. What else did I got in here? Oh, yeah. I bought some, some jeans with the tag. Doesn't that tag look good on there? Can you guys see this? I should check. Oh, yeah. You can see it. <laughs> it's okay. So anyway, that's how I use these five ring binders. I'm trying to think, do I have one that I've done? I believe I do. Yeah. Let me put my glasses on and check. I altered one. Let me show you that one because it's the same kind of binder, but I did it differently. And then I'll have to call it a wrap because this is getting too long and um, I want to do some journaling. So let me show you this. No barking. Okay. This is much the same kind. Sorry about the shaking. I just let the dogs in and they're running around. Much the same kind of binder. But for this one, I took the rings out and I put grommets in and did it almost like a traveler's notebook. But instead, what I did is I put a composition book in it. So this was, let's see when I did this one. May 2019. So this was actually my planner. No, it's my creative daily journal. Okay, so let's just look at this a minute. So this was actually my composition book planner and I put it in one of the five ring binders. But I took the binding mechanism out and I made it into like almost like a traveler's notebook. But this was 2019. I ripped something out there. There's my calendar. There's my notes. And here we go. Cody at the dog park. And again, just putting stuff in. I'm not going to go through all of this. But anyway, there you go. That was another use for your five ring binders. Another way to use it. Another way, I'm still here, is I have these all over here and I'll show you. This was another one 
of the five ring binders. This is gonna be a long video, but. And I did decorate this one. I'm not sure which one it is. And I use this as, uh, can you see? This was way back in, hmm, I don't have dates on this one because it was a, I believe it was Johanna Clow, I believe her name is. She did a documented, I think it's still actually on her Etsy store, but she did like a little documented life thing. And I actually followed along with it and did it myself. And I added these pages and I'm showing this not, not to flip through this journal. This one, this one is very old, but to show you how to use these binders, you just add any pages you want. These right here, I used the original pages and just made them sturdy and just added things on top. I don't think I saved any of them. No. Yeah, this was Joanna, Johanna. Um, because I recognize this with her prompts. It was a lot of fun to do this. But again, I used the original pages and I used the original um, dividers, but I cut off the tab and added my own monthly tabs to it. So there you go. I gotta, gotta make this short. Got another cup of coffee to drink and some, uh, creative daily journaling to do and and play with but I did want to show Carolyn how it is so easy to use these you can use the insides you can choose not to use the insides more more times than not I take the insides out and use them in other projects or use parts of it but um they're fabulous they are they are the best way to go if you change your mind a lot if you want to try different things and they end up not so great and you want to take them out or actually most things like I said with that Dr. Seuss page just keep on playing with it and it'll eventually come out but you don't have to worry about it so much with the ring binders so that's it for now I'm gonna go get me some more coffee and thanks for watching and be kind to each other bye thank you